There isn't a more glorious sound in football than the crack of pads from a leveling hit. Today's list is filled with players that were feared by grown men. Opposing players would do anything they could to get out of going head-to-head -head with these defenders. Today's list recounts the hardest hitters in NFL history. Sean Taylor the University of Miami is famous for being a professional football factory, regularly producing collegiate athletes that excel in the NFL. None fit that bill more than Sean Taylor. Taylor was a freak of nature. At 6'2", he was huge, but could cover receivers stride for stride, and flew down into the box to stop runners in their tracks. He built up speed quickly, turning himself into a torpedo that struck unlucky runners. Sean Taylor is most known for his hit in the 2007 Pro Bowl. The Pro Bowl is a glorified dog and pony show. Players just have fun and make sure they don't get injured. But not Sean Taylor. The AFC ran a fake punt with punter Brian Mormon, and it looked like Mormon had the first down with ease. Then a blur of burgundy swooshed through, de Mormon and dislodging the ball. Sean Taylor's hit could be heard outside the stadium. However, later on, tragically, Sean Taylor was slain in his home during a burglary. But in just four seasons, Taylor left an unforgettable mark on the league, and definitely left a few marks on his opponents as well. Well, Night Train Lane Dick Night Train Lane was a Hall of Fame cornerback in the 50s and 60s, mainly with the Chicago Cardinals and the Detroit Lions. In his rookie year, he set the single-season interception record that is still yet to be broken at 14. But what he was best known for was being an absolutely ruthless tackler. The rules in place to make tackling safer didn't exist in 1955. Lane was infamous for tossing runners down by their helmet, looking more like hip tosses and clotheslines rather than tackles. Grabbing face masks became a penalty in 1962, almost exclusively because Night Train yanked people by them so often. Lane was one of the faster players of the decade, and he would dart to the runner and run through them without losing speed. His hard hits were particularly impressive because he wasn't much smaller than any of the guys whose clock he was cleaning. Dick Night Train Lane was more than just a cool nickname and coverage corner. He was one of the hardest hitters in NFL history. John Lynch John Lynch was a criminally underrated safety for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Denver Broncos. From his strong safety position, he recorded over a thousand tackles, 16 forced fumbles, and 26 interceptions. Lynch is the most versatile hitter on this list. He could square up and level guys, but could also attack from any angle and upend runners. Lynch was never caught out of position and brought intensity with every blow. When asked, Lynch described himself as a warrior, and that being a warrior was his favorite part of football. Getting a perfect hit was a rush for Lynch, saying it felt as pure as hitting a home run. Lynch was more than just a big hitter, though. He was a smart player as well, hitting runners with such precision that he turned should-be car wrecks into surgical knockouts. Lynch won a Super Bowl as part of one of the greatest defenses ever assembled in Tampa Bay. Now, Lynch is a hard-hitting executive for the 49ers, where you can watch and appreciate another great defense week in and week out. Ronnie Lott Ronnie Lott is one of the best players on this list, an all-time great defender for the dominant 80s and 90s 49ers. While he could cover any receiver in the league, he was best known for his hard hits and ball-hawking ability. Lott is the first player to ever record a thousand tackles and 60-plus interceptions. Lott used his big hits to fire up teammates and change the complexion of the game. In Super Bowl 23, Lott's thump of Bengals running back Icky Woods fired up the Niners where they shut down the Bengals' offense for one of their four Super Bowl championships. Rarely were corners feared tacklers, or even good tacklers at that, but Lott was the most feared player on every field he stepped on. Jack Lambert Jack Lambert had a face fit for the game of football. The Pittsburgh Steelers linebacker lacked teeth, had face paint under his eyes, and wielded a huge neck roll on his shoulder pads. The leader of the Steel Curtain, Lambert wrecked players and jarred runners with bone-crushing hits. Lambert was ferocious and terrifying, filling up backfields with exhilarating hits. His leadership helped the 70 Steelers become one of the greatest defenses of all time and win four championships. Lambert's style of play earned himself the nickname nickname Dracula in cleats. Jack Splat registered 1,500 tackles in his career, and every single one of them hurt. Brian Dawkins 
The one word that best describes Brian Dawkins is passion. The longtime heart and soul of the Philadelphia Eagles put his love for the game on display every single time he played. Just ask Algie Crumpler who Dawkins is. Dawkins steamrolled Crumpler with a hit across the middle of the field, setting the tone for a huge playoff game with the Falcons. Dawkins' play earned him the nickname Weapon X, and his intensity even shook his own teammates sometimes. Takeo Spikes was a linebacker for the Eagles, and he remembers one moment vividly. Dawkins told Spikes that I'm gonna take his soul. I wanna see how bad he wants to play. Dawkins was cut from a different cloth. Most players wanted to play for fame and money. Dawkins was enamored by the sport. He would slam receivers to the turf and jump up to yell hallelujah. Dawkins' faith helped channel the fierce hits Weapon X became known for. A fan favorite whose legacy of passion and fire will carry on forever. Ray Lewis Another larger-than-life persona hits his way onto this list. Ray Lewis was the coolest defensive player ever. Donning raven purple and black with a nightshade visor and looking more like the Hulk than a football player. Every kid in America wanted to be Ray Lewis. All Lewis ever did was overachieve, dominating the college ranks with the U and winning two Super Bowls with the Ravens over his illustrious career. His chest is never going to feel the same, Ray Ray said in a post-game interview after his heart-stopping blast on Raylan Edwards. Ray Lewis is one of the smallest guys on this list, but is undoubtedly the biggest leader. He rallied an entire city with his energetic speeches, fourth and two, with the game on the line. Ray Lewis is going to slam your runner in the backfield to win. He proved that against the Chargers in 2009, planting Darren Sproles with a perfectly timed hit. Chad Johnson attempted to block Lewis in a game, and he landed flat on his back, while Lewis was unfazed by the contact. A teammate picked up Johnson as he muttered, I have accidentally hit Ray. Ray Lewis was a throwback hitter in the modern game, and between his uncanny leadership and crushing blows, he became the best middle linebacker in NFL history. Jack Tatum any man nicknamed The Assassin is going to be on a list full of the game's biggest hitters. The 70s was like the wild, wild west of professional football, and Jack Tatum was the most wanted outlaw. Tatum was the best hitter on the superstar-filled Oakland Raiders. Tatum is remembered for one hit almost exclusively on Patriots receiver Daryl Stingley in a preseason game. Stingley caught a routine slant over the middle, and Tatum struck him so hard that Stingley was paralyzed from the waist down. Tatum's lack of remorse for the hit quickly brought him notoriety. Jack Tatum was truly an assassin on the field, a cold-blooded striker that leveled any and everything in sight. Lawrence Taylor Arguably the greatest defensive player to ever live, Lawrence Taylor's play can only be described as ferocious. He ran around the field like a rabid dog whose fur was on fire. Taylor didn't have a weakness in his game. He was just as much a threat to a terrified quarterback as he was to a runner. Taylor discarded blocks like trash and leveled ball carriers. He did it so often, fans became used to his insanely athletic feats. Taylor recorded 140 sacks in his Hall of Fame career, but none is more remembered than his hit on Joe Theismann. Taylor absolutely crushed Theismann, inadvertently breaking Theismann's leg in two, with the bone protruding outwards. Taylor's freak of nature ability caused a freak accident, ending the Washington quarterback's career in a one-in-a-million blow. Taylor immediately felt remorse for the hit, but countless others fell victim to Taylor's raw power. Taylor loved to level opponents, and was quoted saying that everybody must pay a price. Taylor said that he had an alter ego named LT that would dominate opponents every Sunday. He brought a power and intensity that the NFL just hasn't seen since. Dick Butkus because there's no one more football than Dick Butkus, it's only fitting that Butkus is also the greatest hitter in NFL history. Butkus was a legendary linebacker for the Bears and the most intimidating player in history. Sports Illustrated named him the most feared man in the game, and he lived up to that name every down. Fellow teammate Deacon Jones said that every time Butkus hit you, he wasn't trying to put you in the hospital, he was trying to put you in the cemetery. He knocked opponents out, dislodging the ball in the process. When Butkus retired, he was the all-time fumbles forced leader and had more fumble recoveries than anybody else with 27. When asked to describe himself, Butkus said that he would never try to deliberately hurt someone unless it was important, like a league game or something. Butkus was a massive player for the time frame and still possessed the speed to pack a knockout punch to opponents. Dick Butkus' name is synonymous with vicious tackling and football, making him our number one hardest hitter in NFL history. So, what do you guys 
guys think? Did we leave any hard hitters out of this list? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching Nonstop Sports. We'll catch you next time.